Good morning to all. Uh, today we are going to discuss about another new topic in your 10th class biology that is about a lab activity. What is that lab activity? See here children. Testing for production. Testing for production of heat and carbon dioxide under anaerobic respiration. And we people are well familiar with the term anaerobic respiration. The cellular respiration, if it takes place um, in the absence of oxygen, then it is called as anaerobic respiration. And this anaerobic respiration, it is, takes place in two ways. One is in bacterial cell, another one is yeast. Okay, in the bacteria what happened, we are well familiar with that. The lactic acid and energy may be released in that. And second way, that is formation of ethanol. Okay, formation of alcohol, carbon dioxide and energy. Today we are going to discuss about the second one, the second way in the anaerobic respiration. Because we need proof for everything. That's why we are going to conduct one lab activity to prove that under anaerobic conditions, certain microorganisms capable to produce heat and they are capable to release carbon dioxide and they also produce energy in the form of heat. That is what we are going to discuss in today's class. Okay, is it clear? For this activity, we need a transparent glass a transparent glass flask okay it is a transparent glass flask and we need to fill about half of this flask with glucose solution but here our aim is to perform anaerobic respiration means uh, the activity should undergo in the absence of oxygen but we all know that glucose solution it may contain uh, dissolved oxygen in it. Then how can we remove it? By boiling the glucose solution. Okay. Now we have to boil the glucose solution. Later we have to cool down the glucose solution. Still some people they may have doubt. If there is uh, any little quantity of oxygen available means what will happen? Then in order to find does the glucose solution after cool down, a, is it containing any oxygen in it? In order to check for that, here you need to add one dye or a, a coloring agent to the glucose solution. What is that? Here, Jonas Green B. Jonas Green B solution is also called as Dyson Green. Whenever we add this dyson green to the cool down glucose solution, actually this dye uh, appears in the blue color. Whenever it adds to the glucose solution, if the glucose is not at containing oxygen, then immediately blue color dye, blue color Jarvis Green B solution turns into pink. It indicates that there is a shortage of oxygen in that solution. By this we may get one clarity. Now the glucose solution is free from oxygen. Yes, it is free from oxygen. Okay, now the glucose solution is free from oxygen. Then what about the air? The air may enter into the flask and that air may contain oxygen. How can we stop the entry of oxygen? How can we stop the contact of oxygen with glucose solution? By pouring uh, about 1 cm thickness of a solution, a liquid. What is that liquid? That is paraffin liquid, liquid paraffin, which is a, uh, looks like a oil uh, fatty layer. Okay, it just acts like a film, a thick film on the glucose solution. About 1 cm thickness, we have to add liquid paraffin solution. Okay, before going to add this liquid paraffin solution, we have to add, we have to introduce the microorganism. Without microorganism, without any living thing, how the glucose solution perform anaerobic respiration? That's why after checking whether the glucose solution contain 
oxygen or not immediately we have to add yeast okay here we have to add yeast to the glucose solution now the glucose solution contain yeast and to stop the contact of air with the glucose solution here we pour about 1 cm thickness a liquid called as liquid paraffin solution it just stop the contact between oxygen which is present in the air with glucose okay now we just close the flask with a, a splitted cork which is having two holes okay now we have to close the transparent flask with a splitted cork and now we have to introduce one thermometer into the glucose solution and one tube which is in the shape of u okay one delivery tube which is in the shape of u and one end should be inserted into the glucose flask and another end should be introduced into a small container and that container filled with a lime water that container filled with lime water and we all know that lime water is also called as calcium hydroxide okay we just fill the small container with lime water and now the delivery tube having contact with glucose solution and lime water is it clear like this we have to arrange the operators now the yeast within a few minutes time the yeast able to perform the process of anaerobic respiration as the oxygen is absent in this solution that's why it undergo anaerobic respiration and we all know that in the anaerobic respiration heat is produced heat is produced in the anaerobic respiration and also a gas is released that gas able to pass by the help of this u shaped tube and finally it reaches the lime water okay whenever the gas reaches the small container which is containing a lime water immediately that gas react with lime water and it may form calcium carbonate calcium carbonate uh, by this color change in the lime water whenever the gas produced in the glucose solution passes through this u tube and reaches the lime water and it may turn the lime water into milky white into milky okay immediately the color of lime water changes into milky it indicates that the produced gas in the glucose solution is carbon dioxide because the carbon dioxide only have ability to turn the lime water into milky okay that's why we can prove we are able to prove that in the anaerobic respiration carbon dioxide is released that's why lime water turn milky okay it turns into milky white okay by this experiment we may prove that heat is released in the glucose solution as the result of anaerobic respiration okay here energy is producing in the form of heat that's why immediately the reading of the thermometer it may increased okay heat is producing and carbon dioxide is producing that's why calcium hydroxide turns into calcium carbonate by the reaction of carbon dioxide with lime water by this experiment we are able to prove that heat is released and carbon dioxide is released under anaerobic respiration by the help of yeast and here in the same flask another product we are able to or collect that is alcohol nothing but ethanol whenever you observe the water of uh, uh, the glucose solution after this anaerobic respiration you may find a, a specific char characteristic water of alcohol then how can we uh, separate the alcohol and glucose solution is it easy ah it is somewhat difficult and you people are well familiar in your chemistry lessons about how to remove two miscible liquids 
how can we remove by the help of a process called as fractional distillation by the help of a process called as fractional distillation here depending on the boiling point by using this fractional distillation we are able to separate produced alcohol from glucose solution here we all know that the boiling point of water is about 100 degrees centigrade then what about alcohol the alcohol boiling point it is less than water that is 70 degrees centigrade 70 degrees centigrade by using this process we are able to separate both alcohol and glucose solution and you and all this process is called as fermentation and you people are well familiar with the process of fermentation in your eighth class in the story of microorganisms will you remember once your mother able to prepare uh, idli batter and dosa batter one day before why she is preparing for fermenting the batter whenever the batter ferment then it may give soft and smooth and idlis and dosas to us that's why she uh, is able to prepare the batter one day before uh, if um, immediately she won't keep the batter in the refrigerator she may leave the batter about our uh, some hours outside then fermentation takes place in the batter and carbon dioxide may released into the batter and it makes the batter softy soft and smooth okay and at the same time we also conducted one experiment in your eighth class biology what is that whenever we add yeast to maida dough while we are preparing cake the volume of the dough may increase because of the production of carbon dioxide by the process of anaerobic respiration by the process of fermentation here by the help of fermentation sugars may turn into alcohols okay sugars may turn into alcohol and they may give uh, a sour smell to us a sour odor to us by the help of a process called as fermentation most of the people are preparing beverages the drinks like wine whiskey and beer different varieties of beverages